Hi there. We all know how divisive was The Last of Us Part 2 among the fans and the gaming community. With the unceremonious death of Joel, one of the protagonists of the first game in almost the beginning of Part 2. The outcry from the fans towards Naughty Dog was so huge for killing off their favorite character. But what did Naughty Dog do? They were sending copyright strikes left and right to whichever YouTube channel had a different opinion from theirs. After all this drama that happened three years ago, let's go fast forward to today. To the homonym TV series on Max that had a great success with the audience while having Pedro Pascal as Joel and Bella Ramsey as Ellie. The bad news is, even with the success of season 1, the showrunners not gonna deviate from the story of part 2, but at the same time they're realizing killing off Joel means they will lose Pedro Pascal, which is a hot commodity in Hollywood right now after Narcos and The Mandalorian. This way they're gonna lose the star power they need for the show. So let's look at the article on Comic Book Movie. The Last of Us Season 2 has cast Abby and the Thunderbolt star Florence Pugh is rumored for the role. The Last of Us showrunner Craig Mazin has confirmed that Abby has been cast in the show's upcoming second season. And one scooper claims Florence Pugh was being eyed for the role prior the strikes. It's hardly a spoiler to say that Last of Us Season 2 will adapt the events of The Last of Us Part 2 video game, though HBO plans to milk the hit franchise for all it's worth by spreading the story across two seasons. As I said before, they're realizing losing Pedro Pascal will be a big hit to the series, so they're going to spread the second season so they can have him for one more. As for Florence, they are bringing her to mitigate the damage of losing Pedro with another well-known actress so she can carry on her shoulders the series. In fairness, it makes sense given the sequel's ambitious scope and for the fans, all eyes on who the show casts as Abigail Abby Anderson. The character remains incredibly divisive for reasons we won't mention here. I already did, so don't worry about that. But the role will require a strong actress capable of exploring Abby's complexities in a story arc that's likely to see her from antagonist to protagonist. My opinion is to stray away from the story of part two, because most of the people already know it or hate it. This way you can subvert expectations. So let's say just kill Ellie this time instead of Joel. In a new story from Los Angeles Times, there's an update on where things stand with the casting of Abby. Once the series is back in production, key questions abound about the second season, such as who will play Abby, new character who is a rival to Ellie, the role has been cast but Craig Mason isn't dropping any spoilers. And he won't address complaints that the first season could have used more scenes with the fungus-headed infected to juice the drama a bit. With that, we have a confirmation she's been cast. Despite reports, Dan and Barry from Hunters has been cast. It appears Black Widow and Thunderbolt star Florence Pugh was also in the running prior to the WGA and sag strikes. As the Scoopers points out, one of them must have got it. We're just gonna have to wait and see which of them it is. The full interview is worth checking out, particularly for the showrunner's explanation for the infected limited role in The Last of Us first season. He believes that too much of them means the show gets too action-y and you get used to them and they're no longer scary because they're there all of the time. If you can't escape the infected 12 times, how scary are they? 
If you escape them three times over nine episodes, each one of those encounters better be gripping. When it comes to the affected, it better be more like the shark in Jaws than the white noise you stop noticing. There are ways to make them scary every time, but that means they had to make the budget bigger. So that's mainly the reason we don't have the monsters in every episode and just only in three. As for Shannon Berry playing the role of Ab Abby, I would say she looks like Abby, but she doesn't have the star power of Florence Pugh. And the showrunners want to play it safe, so that would be the right pick. And this is a tweet from the scooper, My Time to Shine Hello. I heard from another source that Florence Pugh got an offer to play Abby, Three Strikes. Other source still claims Dan and Barry. Gotta be one of them. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to do a comment, use the comment section below. Thank you and have a good one.